All right, guys, I got something special for you. I'm unboxing my shipment from Combatant Gentlemen. Now, I found these guys on Facebook. You might have seen them if you follow me. I think I liked them and shared them once. But they make affordable suits, uh, high-quality affordable suits. And they're really uh, putting, the, putting the vice grips on the upper suit manufacturers. And uh, I really had to try, try it out. So here's uh, my unboxing of what I got from them. This is going to be a little bit in depth because I need to try the suit on. I'm not going to do that here because the camera is not really set up to be for tried on. But the suits themselves cost about two hundred dollars or one sixty. It's two hundred for a three piece suit or one sixty for a one piece suit. So you see, I got a uh, shirt here, and I will be trying these on. I'll include pictures in the, in the blog post so you can see how they fit. It's a nice uh, green shirt. It's got that nice toothpaste color. I love it. It's a nice violet. Very nice. A nice tasteful blue color. You can never have too many shirts. Am I right, guys? The classic white shirt, of course. I got a tie. This is a knit, a knit tie with a, with a square bottom. Real nice. Oh, this feels really good. It's got a different color top than it does the uh, bottom, so you know the knots will look cool on this thing. This is really slick. I'm loving this right here. And then I. Got a more traditional tie. Feels very nice. It feels good. It's it's nice thin, light fabric. So that's great. Awesome. And this is a a cardigan. Delightful. You can't really see it because it's black, but you know, it's a black cardigan. If you know me, you know I love cardigans because they let you wear the weirdest necktie knots and it, they work out because the ba the bottom of the tie is just covered up. So that's delightful. Great. Here's the main event. They got it in a nice uh, suitcase. See, let me check the camera here. Yeah. Now you're not going to be able to see the quality of the suit from this camera, and I'm also not that good at suits to know. I'm going to have to try it on and kind of feel it, and that'll be a, a follow-up. That might actually just be the same video. I might just cut into that, but I'm not going to do it right now. You got a pair of pants. So let me reiterate. These pants and this suit, which is allegedly very high quality, I'll investigate that, you know, in a little bit, is $160. Now for a suit, that's a very good price. Suits can be upward of $600, you know, $1,000. And this is a suit that, you know, is well made and it's only $160. Now I am going to be taking it to a tailor to make sure that it's uh, my fit and maybe adjust, maybe hem the pants. The pants are not hemmed, as you can see here. So we're going to need to hem the pants at a tailor, which, you know, I mean, that's probably going to cost like 20 bucks. And then it's going to be like, you know, I mean the whole, the whole, the whole process, not just hemming the pants. It's probably 20 bucks to get the whole suit tailored at a local tailor. And I'm also going to have the tailor take a look at the suit and tell me what he thinks. So it's going to be kind of a two-parter. So yeah, there's the unboxing and I think it's looking pretty good. Let's, uh, we'll do some photos next. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I'm about to walk into my, uh, Go to my tailor that I go to. I've been coming here since high school. I mean, not that often, but I've been here about six times probably in my life. I know this guy, so I'm gonna go and uh, get my suit. He's had my suit and he's been getting it. He's been tailoring it for me, so I'm gonna go pick it up. So I'll, uh, I'll be right back to tell you what he thinks. I'll get. I guess I'll show you the store. There we go. It's called Three in One Tailor. They do shoe repair, suits, and alterations. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is my tailor, Rob. He uh, tailored the suit for me. 
and I asked him for his opinion on what he thinks is going on. So let's uh, let's look at it, talk about it. Well, this suit is a nice nice price, and uh, for the value and quality, it's pretty borderline. Uh, uh, the, the stitching is really nice. The workmanship is very nice. The design is very nice. The quality of fabric, however, is not the best. And because of it, you cannot dry clean it over and over again. Uh, if you dry clean it more than two, three times, you might get too shiny and it looks cheap. Uh, however, for the everyday use, maybe for price, you can't beat it. Good. Now we, I, we tailored the suit, and it's going to cost me about uh, eighty-four dollars to get it tailored. And let's talk about what we did. With yeah, the suit what itself. we did was to make it more in style. We closed the vans flap we had in the back. We made it straight, and then we tapered it more, so we one one piece in the back versus two pieces mm -hmm. and no flop so it was more in style and, and we just make it more fitted and we did the uh the cuffs and the pants of course got hemmed yeah and the sleeve we shortened that too so it looked much nicer now you, you, you're gonna have to uh tailor suits all the time yep you have to tailor suits anyway but if you're gonna buy a suit try to buy a suit that do not have the vents open on the side so it will fit you better mm -hmm. otherwise it could be simply closed and tailored but of course costs you money to do that Okay. It won't be that cheap. All right. So you like the suit? You think it's yeah, good? Yeah, overall, I like it. For the comparative for price and the value you get, I think it's a good deal. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So I wore the suit a couple of times. Everybody loved it. Showed it to my parents. Wore it to work. Looks great. Uh, check out these pictures of me wearing it. It fits awesome. I love it. Uh, but the tailor did raise some uh, con concerns, I guess. You call it concerns. He had some concerns. So I sent the video to Combat Gentlemen. I, sh I mean, I, I told them to check it out and uh, tell me what they think. Tell me if what these things is true, if it's false, because, you know, I want to give you guys the full story. Um, the CEO actually volunteered uh, some of his time to, to talk to me face-to-face -face and alleviate some of these concerns. So that happened. And I'll show it to you right now. Not a problem. Okay. All right. I have Vishal here with me, and he is the, actually the founder and CEO of Combat Gentleman. Uh, after I hey. went to the tailor and got his uh, opinion, I went ahead and reached out to Vishal to just kind of, or not Vishal, I just reached out to Combat Gentleman to, uh, you know, show it to him and see what they thought because I'm thinking, why would they put vents in a suit if you always have to seal them up? That doesn't make sense, right? But I don't know anything right. about suits, so if a tailor tells me, i got to take his word for it. But I wanted to go yeah. to the source and kind of find out. So, question one, let's talk about the vents. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the time, Alex. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, getting getting right into it in, in terms of the vents. So you're right. You know, uh, vents are a are a fashion uh, accoutrement that was added to suits a very very long time ago. If you if you look at a lot of the suits from the 70s and 80s, um, you had more of a box cut, especially in the more of the American made style suiting. Um, and what happened was, you know, there was a big shift in consumerism in, in the European styles of Italian tailoring, French tailoring, all that stuff. Vents were really created to give uh, the body a V shape um, at the center button. Um, and it really slimmed down the suit, but it also made guys who weren't necessarily overweight look great in a suit because it really closed in on a, on a portion of the, of, the, uh, of the body where the eye kind of naturally draws to you. So, you know, the venting is a really big part of suiting. Um, you know, I, I know, I know a lot of people have uh, discrepancies between do like a high center vent or two side vents or how high should they be, how low they should be. But I've never really heard a tailor say you shouldn't have vents, um, specific, specifically um, in dealing with you know modern day tailoring. But you know, you know that's that's the reason why uh, I think we're talking is because tailoring is so subjective from place to place, and and you're kind of relying on the tailor, like you said. But I think a lot of our customers, a lot of our early customers, they're very interested in what's the right way to do things. And for us over here, the reason we put the vents in is because we want to give our guys a modern tailored look um, without having to spend the cost on a Hugo Boss suit or a Xenia suit per se. So yeah, I would definitely keep the vents open and I, I wouldn't let a, a tailor per se let me close, let you close them. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad that mine are closed now. So now what am I supposed to do? I got to get them retailored uh, and open them up? So luckily, you can take it. You can get a seam ripper from any uh, drugstore, department store, not department store, but like a like a CVS. Um, and there's a little, there's a little seam ripper, there's a little tool. Huh. And uh, I'll take some pictures on how you do it. But basically, you just run up the seam and it'll pop right back open. 
Okay. Um, we actually, as a sign of good tailoring, we actually send all of our suits with the vents. Have They have two white... Um, Stri- uh, white basting stitches that are already sewn into them mm-hmm. to show that the, ta- the tailoring was handmade. But the reason they're white and such a big contrasting color is because they're supposed to alert the customer to open them up. Right. So um, it's kind of a, a, a form over function type of thing. Okay. And let's, uh, just so we, we know that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Talk about your history in, in tailoring a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm a third generation tailor. Uh, it started off with my grandfather, um, who was born and raised in India, and actually had to move um, to Gibraltar um, early on in uh, his career. And he started tailoring over there with a lot of uh, Marzotto fine wools. Um, from there, my dad uh, took on the tailoring aspect of of being, I guess, a Malwani kid, and uh, he went out to Hong Kong and started tailoring at the age of 12. So he's been apprentice for a very long time over there and then I started at the age of nine as well doing all sorts of I started off in the women's uh, sector doing a lot of seamstressing a lot of stuff for dresses a lot of stuff for uh, undergarments and then eventually moved my way into menswear um, where I find myself um, today it's, it's, it's been a long journey but it's been definitely fun over here at, at Combat Gent we've added technology to everything we do so it's cool to kind of see the transformation of where I started back in the day helping my dad in his shop and all the way to where we are now. So it's, it's a pretty fun journey. So how many years are we talking? Um, I've been apprenticed for 17 years in total. 17 years. Yeah. So that would make you a black belt tailor, I would say. Some would say, yeah. Some okay. would say. So to hear a tailor say that you should close events, that's like an opinion. That's yeah, a belief. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely – it was shocking to us, especially in the office when we first – heard that uh, he wanted to close the vent, especially for shape, because that's exactly what vents are supposed to do. Um, but again, you know, you do get a lot of tailors who, and unfortunately, it's 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 not a really, it's not, it's not really, like, uh, supported by any major rules or what's right or what's wrong. It's all subjective. And fit is subjective, to be honest. Um, so it comes down to, you know, you having a little bit of knowledge prior to going to that tailor. And I think a lot of our guys who call our customer support line um, and they talk to our stylist, they, they find out quickly that, you know, our stylists know exactly what to, to ask a tailor. And we let them know, hey, let them know that you want this kind of hem with one break or you want to make sure that you, you don't want the, you want the sleeves a little shortened because you want the shirt to show. Or, you know, in some cases like yours, uh, do not close the, the, the vents in the back. Um, so, you know, it, it for us, we spend a lot of time on education, especially on the site and, you um, we also make sure that that's kind of coming through all the way through customer service. And, you know, it, it, it's difficult when we see a lot of uh, different opinions. Um, and this is specifically why we're actually launching an app in the future called Haberdash. It's actually going to be launching um, in the springtime in San Francisco, our first city rollout, where we're actually bringing certified tailors to your door. So you don't even have to worry about going to the tailor. We're actually going to be bringing that tailor to you hmm. to kind of save you time and, and money and, and, and overall tricks in the industry. Like a house call. Yeah, exactly. Taylor house calls. Okay. Uh, now talking about tailors. Yeah. This. Now he did a couple of the tailor did a couple of things. He hemmed my pants. He uh, shortened my sleeves a little bit on the on the right. on the jacket. He did the vents. Right. And uh, I think he did one other thing. Eighty two dollars. Yeah. Is that a lot? That is that is that is somewhat uh, pricey into what we've been hearing. We're over here on, in, in Los Angeles where there's a tailor literally on every, you know, shop corner or, or anywhere you can kind of just roll your eyes and you'll find a tailor. Mm-hmm. Um, typically what we see the average price being for a suit that when, when, when someone buys it from us, it's about 15 to $30 um, for a hem and sleeve, sleeve lightening or shortening. Those are the two main things that need to be done. Um, for us, we, we feel that that's like the, the normal price that we've been seeing along the way. But there are some some tailors who charge a little bit more, depending on where they where they're located, and also how many reviews for say they per se that they have on Yelp, right? Sure. So um, it's it's definitely worth knowing what you're going to get done prior to go, going into that tailor shop, so you can kind of judge uh, based off of um, you know pricing what they're going to kind of throw your way. Obviously, if you want to recut the pant and do all you know do a lot of harder higher end alterations, you're going to want to. A, focus on a really good tailor that can do that stuff, but B, is also um, going to charge you an honest price. An $80 price point for the things you did 
um, is considered, especially on the West Coast, a little higher on the higher end range. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I've I've been to this guy before to fix some some like uh, he fixed a button for me on this really heavy duty coat. He fixed right. some shoes for me, and you know, it was always like twenty dollars or fifteen dollars right. to get everything done. Right. I don't know if he was just uh, kind of price shooting here, going well as a suit. Yeah. So. Yeah, and keep in mind it is it is a it is a mom and pop driven industry where pricing can be subjective as well, depending on on who knows what's going on that month. You know, maybe maybe they got higher rent or this or that. You don't really know. Um, and it's a struggling industry, and, and we're hoping to help that industry as well. Um, so hopefully we can, you know, you know, Combat Gen could be one of the reasons why a lot of mom and pop tailors can af- afford to charge their clients a more reasonable rate in the future. Yeah. Now his other concern was the. Uh, he said that. Well, he was fixated outside of maybe in the video when I talked to him mm-hmm. in general. He was kind of fixated on how thin it felt compared right. to what he would call a good suit. Right. And you know, and I, I touched both, and the suit that he would say is good that felt to me yeah. like it was really dense, like canvas. Right. You know, like like yeah. And he said that's yeah. good, and then your your suit is thinner, and that is kind of less durable. Right. And maybe so, you know, durability, maybe that's true. But you know, what are you trying to do? Play rugby? Yeah, yeah. So you know, I I, I completely stand by what you're saying, and I, I completely agree. The reason why you know we made the we made the the ounce of the suit or the weight of the the wool overall lighter. It's it's a ten and a half ounce in total. If you want to add both the suit, the, the jacket, and the pants together, the reason why we made it lighter is because our guys are using it in more of a uh, repeat wear, high endurance style. Um, you know way of life. Our guys are wearing this to work on a daily basis. They're, they're then taking off the jacket and going to the bar after work. Um, a lot of our guys do work out a lot. They Sometimes they work out at lunch and stuff like that. So we wanted to give us, we wanted to give this introductory suit a perfect weight that would work on both coasts and didn't have this kind of suffocating feel. Um, a, lot of, a lot of older gentlemen do like to wear a lot of the heavier tweeds. Um, and, and a lot of guys who live on the, on the East Coast uh, predominantly do like to wear a lot of heavier coat coats and stuff like that um, but we're finding that a lot of those guys will wear a thin a thinner wool suit with a heavier overcoat on the outside when they are out because that, again being in the office being in this high paced high endurance world it's, it's it's a lot more nimble to be in a, in a lighter weight suit but we again we are releasing more suits in the future which will be a little bit heavier um, but for the most part I think a lot of our guys really really like the weight of the suit and the fact that when they wear it it's not it's not taking them over in the sense of, you know, uh, it feels like this big glove that they're wearing around their body. It, it kind of forms and it forms to the body. Um, the wool is all 100% wool, but it, it's, it's, really, it's really nice in the, fa- in the sense of the hand feel and also the breathability of the product. Yeah, so it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a feel thing. It's not yes, good def- or bad. It's definitely, yeah, it's a definite, it's a definite feel thing. And overall, we were, we try to develop our suiting based off the data that we're getting from our guys. So we get a lot of guys who work in finance who are there all day, literally, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And they need something that's going to be comfortable enough to make it, you know, make that day comfortable, but at the same time have the ability to still look the corporate, you know, the corporate attire and and and, and look the part. Yeah, I mean, it's it's better. I'll say yeah. that you know it, the lighter one is better. I've worn my you know when I wear suits to weddings or I borrow my dad's or whatever. It's right. you know old school suits. They're heavy, yeah. and my dad yeah. buys good stuff. He's you know he's right. a classy dude, but they're just heavy suits, and that's a style, right. but not necessarily a, a quality issue at all. Yeah. Again, that's subjective, and that's a, that's a lot what you'll get in fashion is that a lot of it's subjective, and it depends on that personal person's taste, mm-hmm. and um, you know it, it comes out to what you the consumer wants and. And and we completely understand what our specifically what our guy wants. So what about what about uh, dry cleaning? Is there a yeah? No, I, I I noticed you mentioned the whole the whole shine thing, and yep. and usually you see a lot of that in in more polyester suits um, that happen over time because there's a lot of plastics that are used in the development of the of the of the um, overall textile. But for us, you know, a lot the suit you have is 100 percent wool, but at the same time. Um, you know what we've done is we've taken the time to maintain our fabric from the base level. So when we do production, um, we actually shave. You know, focus on everything from the from the shaving point all the way down to the way the the raw textile is created, all the way to the final production facility. So we've taken the time to coat the wool, make sure that's treated well, and at the same time it's produced for durability. 
So I don't foresee anyone having a, a hard time getting Shine to come out because it's not a low end fabric. Um, what I do, what I do want to stress is that a lot of uh, a lot of dry cleaners out there do use a lot of harsh chemicals when dry cleaning. So you kind of want to find a dry cleaner who is working with a new edge base of like. It, there's a lot of eco dry cleaners that are coming out. A lot of a lot of dry cleaners who don't use heavy chemicals. Um, those are those are you know more along the line of, of treating your clothes in general just better. Um, but I've, you know we've been selling suits for quite some time now, over over a year and eight months now, and and we're we haven't had any complaints of guys coming back from a dry cleaner having any issues. Um, but no, I definitely do admire or, or or you know understand the fact that he's he's giving you that fair warning. Um, but definitely with our textiles, we take the time to really focus on that. Um, and also, just like a quick tidbit, um, you know, suits are very durable in, over, in their overall construction. You don't necessarily need to dry clean them after every wear. Um, what we usually tell people is twice a year, every, like every two, two major seasons, one time in the spring and one time in the fall, is the perfect, uh, perfect allotment of, of dry cleaning sessions that the suit will need. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't even know that many people who would dry clean that off, meaning after every wear. Um, so yeah. so yeah. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the dry cleaning because uh, I mean, how often yeah. am I going to do it? I mean, if I right. buy a two hundred dollar suit, how many dry cleans will it take for me to damage it to the point where I buy a new one? Three right. years, okay. Right. I'll spend two hundred dollars. Right. You know, it's, it's, that's that's so whatever. I, you know, I want to address that for sure. But I'm even if even if I can only dry clean it once and it disappeared, like that would be still be fine. Right. I get a year out of that, right. no problem. You know. Yeah. No. And and these are things that again we've 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 done a lot of testing before releasing the goods. We've done even we've even done like stuff like um, like cigarette tests, for example. A lot of our you know a lot of guys are young and they're going out to bars and and you know they they've come across and to, uh, to a lot of cigarette smoke and a lot of people are click complain like oh wool will carry the scent of a cigarette mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of that has to do with heavier tweeds like the like the, your, your tailor was talking about a high like a high density wool. That will hold scent and overall carry that cigarette, cigarette smell um, more so than the finer wools that we that we work with and the, and the soft hand touch because again the finer the hair um, meaning meaning the finer the hair the thicker the overall weave would be so it just it comes down to um, essentially production science that we work on over here so we take the time to really you know figure out, you know, what's going to be the best case situation for our guy and, and build product around that. When you come out with the heavier suits, mm -hmm. are they going to be the same price? Um, yeah, so they are. some of them are going to be the same price. Um, our goal as, as a mission, as a brand, is we want, we'll never charge over $300. Um, and we'll we'll start at three. So we, we say we say that Combat Gentleman is, the price point is between $3 and $300. Um, our goal is to launch a second tier suiting um, component here in the next two months. Um, they're going to be two hundred dollars suits, but they're going to be herringbone, a fabric, and then a bird's eye fabric. So we're really excited about that. Um, but you'll always have a great selection in the hundred and sixty dollars suit range as well. So we really want to um, open open up uh, you know the minds of our current customers who want to take a little bump up in terms of fabric and maybe get a three piece option. But at the same time, always stay true to the 160 price point that we, I guess, are becoming known for. So we're, we're super excited about that. Awesome. That's great. And I just wanted to reiterate that I love the product. I love it. I'm wearing Thank the you. shirt right now. These shirts, so I'm obsessed with them. There's two kinds of Thank shirt I got. I got. I got these kind of, this is a heavier one. Yes, the Oxford. Yeah. And then I got another one that's thinner. Yeah. I like both, but I'm really obsessed with these heavy ones. Awesome. We appreciate great. that. And. and yeah, no, we, we actually um, mill our own cotton in northern India. Um, so all of the cotton that we, we use our shirts for is produced by, by us. So we get it from the crop all the way to final production. So it's actually a really fun process. Mm. It's good. It's all, you know, I mean, I could feel like I can get into a bar fight in this shirt, and the shirt will be awesome. fine. Awesome. I feel Definitely. that way. And they, they sell ties, and you have, I saw, just, I just saw a Facebook post about having these, like, uh, like sweaters, knits. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we do cat cotton cashmere knits. Again, we do all the all the uh, development for the cashmere and the cotton ourselves, um, and uh, they're amazing. They're they're forty five dollars, I think, and I think for for the price and, and that much cashmere that's in there, it's super soft, super fine, but they're super durable and breathable. Um, it's a great layering piece for anyone who's looking to like add a, almost like a three piece look or without having to buy, wear a vest. 
Uh, the cardigan is a great, great throwover for any suit, so we always encourage people to layer. Um, and they're, they're just great add-ons to any, any part of your wardrobe. Yeah, and I'm a big, I'm a huge vest and cardigan advocate because awesome. if you, I don't know if you've checked me out, but I, I tie these ridiculous yeah. knots, and some of them Definitely. end up with a weird end. So you want to vest it off, so you just have a exactly. knot, and that's it. Exactly. Uh, so I'm, yeah. you know, get a cardigan over here, guys. It's, it's a great yeah. deal. Okay. Well, you know, that's. Uh, thanks for talking to me. That's. I think that clears a lot of stuff up. Uh, Appreciate the time. Yeah. Thank you very much. And cool. you know, you got it from the source right now. These uh, combat gentlemen are serious about their quality. I love the product. I just, you know, I got some kind of weird news from the tailor, and I wanted to, you know, get the second opinion on that. And I think we did that. And you know, and if they, anybody want, if they have a question for you guys, if you didn't answer one and they have a question, how can they yeah. contact you? You, you know what? I answer all of uh, all the emails that I get. I answer them all personally. Um, I think it's the best way. So you can email me at vishal v i s h a a l at combatgent.com. And uh, we can probably put that maybe in the description below or something. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anything, anything that you guys want to talk to me about, any questions, what's coming on the future, I'm more than happy to help. Um, just hit me up directly, and I'm available literally all day, all night. Um, this is this is my life, so more than happy to help. Yeah, that there you go. I mean, you got to believe in him. He's look at he's got his email. Mm -hmm. This is serious stuff. It, it's a great cost for like for like five hundred dollars. You can almost buy a whole new wardrobe, including a suit, and it's all killer quality. You know, I mean, you do that once every th six months. I think that's yeah. there. You, you're ready to go. You got a new job. You're ready to go. Definitely. Check it out. Don't don't think about it. Just do it. All right. Thank you very cool. much for joining. And thanks, thanks for Alex. answering these questions. Well, what more can I say? I mean, this video is already pushing, you know, half an hour, uh, but. You know, I'm asking you guys to spend, you know, 200 plus dollars. I want to be as thorough as possible. I believe in this product a lot. It's very good. And I uh, definitely try it. They have great ties and shirts as well. And they have cardigans. Just look at, look at their products. I'm telling you, the quality is really great. And uh, the price is right. So there it is. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, keep on uh, subscribing to my channel for more unboxings and investigations into, you know, apparel. I'll keep doing them. Thank you.